about pets. We're all about fun. We have the nicest people. Our deals are number one. You'll love Dave's. Dave's Soda <laughs> and Pet City. We make shopping for your pet. Fun, 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 fun. We're filming. <laughs> Well, welcome back, everybody. We're we're here with uh, Eddie and Matt, and um, I, this is this is always my favorite show because I just these fish fish just fascinate me. So, wh what do we have next, Ed? Okay, we were talking about. I want to um, talk about another fish we call. This is the black ranchu. This is the one that everyone, every person who's got ranchus wants. It's a pure black. This is a clear blood, too. A what? Clear, clear blood? Yeah, clear blood. In other words, the, the line oh. ha, of black is, has been perfected. So when they breed, you get another black fish. Okay. So that's a dominant gene. Yes, it is. So I'm going to get, get close to Matt. I'm going to. Okay. It's got the head. Now watch. Yeah. This has got the big head. Yeah. Short body, square, 45 degree tail. It's called a cabuncle, the back Kabunkle. tail. Is a kabunko, and it causes the fish swim, and he looks like a clown. And as you'll see, see? looks like his kabunko is kabunking. Yeah, that that makes the value of the fish. <laughs> I mean, the tail swimmy to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't. You got to see him from the side a little. Bit. I guess that's what it is. <laughs> now, because you notice the tail's pushed down, and the tail instead of wagging, it wiggles and swirls when he's moving. See. It's like he's uh, practicing How, yoga. Oh, seriously? <laughs> How do you tell the boy from the girl? Um, there is a way? Yeah. Show you. Is it by the fins? Yes. See, you know what you're talking about. Tail <laughs> covers, too. <laughs> this is a female. It's on that fin right there, yeah. on the edge, there would be bumps. If it was a male? Yeah. And the bumps are used to push her side in to push the eggs out. Oh, how cool. Yeah, Nuptial see. turbicles, they're called. There you see? go. What is it called? Uh, Nuptial hey. turbicles. And there they are. There's the male. Scientific name of the day. Somebody will come in here and say, is that a pair? And you can say yes. Yes. Let me see the see, difference. There's that. Can you see that row of dots? Yes. No. Smooth. Yeah. yeah. Female. Male. Female, male. And, 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 uh, Are males bigger? Because he's a little bit bigger. Females usually a little bigger because they're rounder. Yeah. Absolutely they more right. More Same thing with koi. Rubenesque? Rubenesque. <laughs> there you go. All that right. Works today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're Dutch goldfish. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> this here, these are the ones. This is, I don't know about you guys, but this, this is really fascinating. <laughs> it's neat stuff. It, it's really neat stuff. There are people in, um, in China that buy these and they'll pay a pay thousand dollars, two thousand, it doesn't make any difference if it's the color and the right breed. Right. And their, their value in society goes by what they have in this type of fish in their house in certain parts of uh, China. Okay, this is, okay, this would be, you can see the face on this? The huge head. Yeah. And it has a personality. Yes. Okay, and that's what it is. They're cute, they're like a cupid doll. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, the yeah. carbuncle, per, big body, so it's just an orange carbuncle. Yeah. <laughs> but they go by the quality of the fish. Yep. If, Oop, it, if this is a straight line, yep. it's called the lion head. And the lion Notice head... there's no dorsal fin either. See that? Yep. Nothing no on dorsal, top. nothing on top. No fins up there. And the lion head, which I'm still trying to get those in, the head will be twice that size. And it looks like the fish got a little body and a big head. Big mane. Yeah. It's almost so like a how polywall. come... How, how come there's no dorsal fin on these guys? That is the, br they bred that out of them, really. If I breed these, some of the babies will have a back fin because you, they go back. A little bit of recessing there, yep. Yeah. So none of these guys have fins. That's the quality, that's the high quality. That's no the high quality. And smooth, smooth yep. all the way down. Yep, yep. It's like an egg-shaped body, if you look. Looks like yeah. So if I, if I have a 20-gallon tank, let's say I don't want to get into all this, but if I have a 20-gallon long, like, what, yeah. What's that? The 33 gallon. 33 gallon, yeah, right. 20 would do good. 20 is fine. Two. Do I need a heater? No. I no don't heater. need any. All I need. Room temperature can get cold. 
Right. Mm -hmm. All right. There's right. no real problem. You need a really good filter. Good filter. You I don't need a UV one. or anything like that. No, no. no. Just and I need a hood because will they jump? Um, it's more the, of these guys don't. They jump. can't they jump. They don't right? really <laughs> jump, but right. it's good to keep the hood on, keep the evaporation. Okay. Yeah. Um, partial water change them too. Every yeah, because of the days. ammonia. Right. One third water change. Right. Eddie, these are, these are really cool. I, I and I know we get these every year, but it's just so cool to watch these things. Well, well, and you know what, folks? These are really expensive. So one of the reasons they're they're expensive is quality. somebody. Well, a the quality, but think about this. If this fish is a year old, someone has been caring for this fish mm -hmm. for a year in China. In China, right? And then it's shipped here. Right. It's crazy. It's Here's like when we you. used to when we used to do a lot of baby birds. Mm -hmm. People would say, "Why do you have? Why are the birds so expensive?" I said, well, someone's baby feeding that bird, mm -hmm. Matthew, many times, mm -hmm. by hand, five days a week for 15, 16 weeks. It's right? a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Not seven, you, you can't skip two days. No, yeah. seven days a week. Now, yeah. how, um, how right? long do these guys live, lifespan? All right, well, I've had them seven to ten. I mean, I, I got a chance to talk to some of uh, the... Uh, the Chinese who raise these, they're trying to get a place that they raise them in, in America. Uh, now that we don't have as many uh, uh, as many uh, laws that are stopping us from having these, and now did they loosen the laws? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we were, we were come close to losing these. I know. These. I, know. Okay, I know. I know. I'm on top of Right. And, and and it's beautiful. Now we got a chance where we can get them. And we, we can, can start breeding them here, like they. We're already. I'm in the process of helping some people get that done. Yep. Okay. And that's what we want. Yeah. We want better products than American made, made right. in the USA. Mm -hmm. Right. But right. these, we, you would we buy. We want these Chinese fish, made in the USA. That's right. That's it. And then the chances are the people who come here are Chinese doing it. Right. <laughs> but they're and they're expert. sending them back to China. <laughs> They're that's, really that's a good trade agreement. <laughs> right. <laughs> and they're experts at it. So my, I, I love the calico ones. Yeah. All right, let me show you. This is totally different. This fish, you don't have one. You'll probably buy this. That is right? a Ryukin. Because yeah. he's, he's got fins. Yeah, mm -hmm. top fin. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at this. This is, con now what's liked about this, this has a dragon tail. When the tail is black, this is called a uh, calico dragon tail. Okay. Yep. Beautiful body. Beautiful body. And the higher the hump here, the more value of the fish. The higher the hump right yep. there? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the value of the fish. And the tail is actually very nice. I always love these because it looks like the head was actually put onto a So Matt, body. we have, so how much are our babies? The babies? They're, they're like they're nothing. Like, yep. They start at $5.99 for the right. smallest ones. Right. And, and after, this is a year old or so? Yeah. You would sell this in your store probably for about 90 bucks. Mm -hmm. Right. So save yourself 90 bucks, spend six dollars, right, or ten bucks, whatever they are, and, and you grow, and grow them. them. Yeah, you can. But right? a lot of people, when they like buy the this, it, they they know this fish and they want right. it in their big tank. Right. Now here's the good part about this. I want you to, can you follow this? There you go. They live with anybody out yeah. there. So even these big guys don't no. don't they won't they, mess they with them. They play football with them. Nose they're and nose. faster and they're much more solid. There isn't as much stuff on them like growths and things like yeah, that. Yeah, like these so guys. It's a much more sturdy fish. Yeah. This is so cool. See him, and he has no problem with them either. And yep. they can, something can be two foot long and he'll go right nose to nose mm -hmm. with it. So here, oh yeah, look at him. You see him they're checking them out. Them. Yep. They're just sniffing. So here's my question. So the water that he was in is very different than the water that he just went into, obviously. No. Well, but this water's been here, and you didn't get this water from there. It's still an adjustment, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, where these fish I have cheated, all I adjusted the pH. Yeah. <laughs> this is all your water. My water is in the same uh, town too. So okay. It, when they're all the same, we get, we get we get the same quality of water. Very good water here. Very good water. Well, there's a reason to move to Agawam. Yeah, that's right. you got we good have water. great. Yeah, we have great water quality. So, in, can we keep going, or yeah. how much more time do we have? We're at nine, so a couple minutes. And will that be the end of the show? No. No, okay. So let's talk about these big guys. Yeah. What, what are they? Those are our butterfly koi. Yeah. There's our straight, straight tail koi right there. Yep. Ed can give me the more Japanese name. I yeah. believe that's a Showa. Yeah. Am I correct? It, 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 it. 
The white one over so these here are koi. is a mirror koi. What are these? These are goldfish. These are goldfish because they goldfish. don't have whiskers. Don't have whiskers. Koi, koi have, have whiskers. whiskers. That's right. It only took me 20 years of filming this show to do that. It's amazing. It's a big difference. Yeah, that water, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, the big part about the white one, it's called a mirror carp. Okay. Because he has no scales, only a few broad scales. A mirror? Mirror. Yeah. Mirror. Because he doesn't have... Which is not a reflection on you. No. Ah. No. no. <laughs> No. Very nice fish, well uh, asked for, easy to care for. Um, How old is he? Uh, I bet I'll say he's about two and a half years old. I wouldn't say any more than that. How, how long have you had that one here? This, these two particular ones have been here about eight, nine months. A so season? Yeah, a season. a season. So about three years old. Koi grow quickly. A lot of people who buy these smaller <laughs> guys come back with it at the end of end of the season or the start of the next yeah, season. Yeah, and they got to get them back with tripled size. Right. So make sure when you get these guys, you have the real estate. Koi, koi grow that equipment. much faster than goldfish? They're oh, yeah. fast growers, real fast growers. Oh, yeah. That's um, a lot of people who have these big pond, again, buy the little ones. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, right. Here, they got the, but again, some people like like the big guys. Is that a show quality? Yeah, these are, the, 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 the mirror koi is very, very nice. Okay, when you get into show quality, I can bring one in. But that fish show quality, perfect, would run you about maybe $400 or $500. Not uncommon for some of these guys to go up to oh, yeah. $500. Bucks. He, he's, he's had some. He, he just, you just sold one from the store mm -hmm. that was of the higher quality. I mean, it was the color, the, the, the action in the fish, and big, long fins. It was beautiful. Yeah. And again, some people have big ponds already, and they want that big fish. Oh, yes. So I, so I have a question. If you buy, you come in, you buy baby. Yeah. Right. And can just a baby baby grow into that high quality or are they high quality when they start out or how, how does that work? At Dave's, yeah. you get pretty much a higher quality fish than the other uh, stores get. You you don't get the culls. A cull is when the, you chances are... Sort of like the runt of the litter? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's not so much, yes, because it's first cull <laughs> are the fish they send over here. All right. And your second and third improves. Yeah. All right. And then, and that price is the same thing. It doubles or triples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get the better ones. Right. But the stuff you get from me like that are, are higher quality. Matt knows because we used to. <laughs> we, yeah, and we've changed and, and made a better fish that uh, Dave's has now. A lot All of them day. as they grow, as they could grow, you start picking out good color. So if you buy them in a small enough, good-sized group, you know, six to eight of them, you can start picking out after five, six months some of the really pretty. Yeah. So, uh, so I know all, all seven stores. How many do we have? Uh, seven stores. Seven, so all seven stores don't have a big pond like this, but they all have a good selection of fish from Eddie. And correction, oh, yeah. we just opened. Just by, by the time you read this, it's already been open. Reading? Out. This is a TV, TV show. show. By the time you see this. Nice sorry. kid, just not that bright. Not that bright. Just yes. we have to. Ludlow, we have a brand new pond. That oh, I saw it. It's gorgeous. Oh, I saw that. That's right. excellent. Yeah, yeah. Got, yeah, it's beautiful. And where actually has a lot where? of very where? Up in where, where yep. everything is, we have several large aquariums that are filled up with these as well. So we do have koi. In all the stores, so they are available. But if you're in Ludlow, check out the brand new, beautiful pond that we just installed, which we have the big guys in there now too. Very nice, very nice. So um, we should go. Just keep going. Or wrap it up now. Or wrap. All right. Uh, so I'm confused because we've been doing this so long. What else is new? Do we do we have another segment coming up? Yeah. We do. Okay. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back in just a moment, and I want you to read more about the show. Hey, we're, we're back, folks, and since we, we were discussing more the, for the advanced hobbyist, I now want to go, let's say we've piqued your interest and you want to start your own goldfish collection. Mm -hmm. um, I pond. thought we would, yeah, pond or whatever. I thought we would come over here and say this is the stuff that you can have even just in your regular aquarium mm -hmm. in the house. So Absolutely. take it away, Matt. Right, we are going to start 
We've already talked about all these fantails and different fancy goldfish in here. Yep. And we looked at the big ones, but you can see we also have some of these beautiful little small guys. See the little guy nibbling my hand there? Yeah. Okay. These are all little ranchus. That are just the same just as... The little little guys, $6. So you can yep. buy any of these little guys, put them in your aquarium, you can grow them out, and you can end up with a big showpiece just like you have there. Like there you, you go. See yes. Right there. So, but look at the color on them. You've got... All the you can't put regular tropical fish on these, though. Uh, I would not recommend it because a lot of the little tropical fish will they'll nip, nip at them. Nip at them. They'll nip at them. Um, tropical fish are faster than these. Faster, fish. much quicker, much yep. more, yeah. much more uh, streamlined. So yeah, a lot of the stuff will get nipped. So and I, I noticed we have fish of all different sizes, and they're fine. Yeah. And they're fine. These are all fantails, so they're yep. non-predatory. They get along perfectly. Right happy. wording. They're not predators. This is a this is a rare one right here. Look at that white telescope. He's a moor. Look yep. how he's pure white with the telescope eyes. Yeah. So that's a look at the beautiful butterfly tail. You can see him, just like that. You can see how friendly they are. They're just they're just kissing my fingers and like I said, fun little fish there. Moving right along. So is that a lion head back there? That is an aranda because he has the dorsal fin. See the dorsal okay. fin on the back? Got it. That lion head, like you said, has the smooth. That's the bigger right. Right. And even a bigger head. He has a bigger head. He's very smart. Okay, here we are, the absolute beginner pondfish. This is called a rosy red. These guys are great for aquariums. They're very hardy. Fast. Fast, fast, fast. Schooling. These, schooling fish. These are fantastic in ponds because they're a great mosquito eater. So if you have a well-built pond, you're getting a lot of mosquito larva, these guys will clear them, keep it clear, absolutely clear. And you clear keep those it. guys in with those yep. guys yep. as well? Yep, they're quick enough that they won't get gobbled up. What do you need, like 10 of them or something at yeah. a time? Put a nice school in there. Nice school in there. They're um, fast enough. They're harder for the fish to eat. Right. Yeah. They ain't going to catch them. They're yeah. not going to catch them, but they do a great job at eating all the mosquito larvae, which can really spread right. bad stuff. That really bugs the other fish. Yes, exactly. Buggy, buggy, buggy. Right. Um, great if you have a, if you don't have a room, if you have one of those little whiskey barrel ponds, one yeah. of these little guys right here where you don't have room for a bigger fish, yeah. you can put these in there and get a little motion there. Do, they, do they grow? These get about, see like some of these bigger ones, they get about four inches yeah, at the most. Yeah, so they're not. So they're right. not a huge fish, so it's a nice right. fish for a, for a smaller pond. Yep. Moving along, down here, these are goldfish. Why? Because whiskers. No whiskers. This is called a shabunkin, and it has that beautiful calico, blue calico pattern. If you combine beautiful. them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Great fish, and it looks great. When they're in a pond with the sun shining them, they sparkle. So it's a really, really These guys fish. can get to eight, nine inches long. They can get to be pretty So here's, big. I don't know if this is myth or whatever, if you have, if the tank is more crowded, does that retard the growth? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, welcome back, everybody. And um, it's... Uh, Pond season, so we're here with um, with Eddie and Matt, and um, we're talking about starter fish for your your goldfish pond or your aquarium. These are the coolest, not the coolest, mm -hmm. but these are very cool butterflies, Beautiful. right? The main the main thing on on a butterfly koi, and I understand you, the longer fin makes it look the it's like a an angel, the silhouette of an angel when you look down at it. And when some of the when they get big. That's what it looks like, too. Uh, top view fish. Yeah, top view. Like like side view is just OK, but you look down on them. You're exactly right. Mm -hmm. And in here, we've got some fish with a little bit of blue on the top, which makes it a really stunning sky blue color when, the fish is, when you're looking down at the fish. Um, th these particular fish that we have in here are called shisui's. And the name of the fish with no scales like that, with just a strip down the back, um, is very, very interesting. Is he just making it's, these names up? Or I thought a shisui was a dog. But pushed I thought it was something I ordered in the restaurant see, last yeah, see, that, with no, white, Yeah, with <laughs> white rice. Uh, Things he puts up with. How yes. would we know? Oh. It's called a Deutzu fish, and it's, and it's a German scale. That's what it's called. And it's been introduced now all over the world. And you'll find that here we got a, a koi with these big, huge scales on it. And From Germany? Were, from Germany. That's what these are. And they imported them into China? Yeah. And, and they imported them here. And then they imported them here? Yeah. It's got a full passport. Why didn't we just skip the middleman? <laughs> <laughs> well, then you'd have to change history. Oh, all right. Yeah, okay, you fine. You can't do that. 
right. but it's a beautiful fish and instead of the color coming out in scales it looks like somebody hand painted it on the body of the skin I gotta get a, a uh, you know what I gotta do the now I see what you're talking about you can't see it from the side Yes, you, right. you got to look it's down. It's a prettier fish. On it's top. a much, yeah, they're gorgeous. See this little wow, one? right, with the blue on it. Mm -hmm. And in a pond, you can see the pectoral yep. fins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it looks like, just like an angel or a, a ballerina almost. And these guys get big. That was the one he saw. Yep, <laughs> yep. They get big. They can push three feet. Yeah. Really? So big. Well, tell how many inches that one was. That one, the one that we sold was about 28 inches, four pounds, because we weighed it before it went. Holy That's smokes. So it was a big. And how old was it? About three years old. Wow. Koi live long, too. I do know for a fact that some koi have been known to live up to 20 years. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. Nope. Way no, more than that. Way more way than that. Yes. Yes. Way 85 more. to 100 years. Oh, so I got years. that one in there. Wow. Yeah, they can go 100 years. So they'll all outlive the, live the owner. But when people, when they, they pass away, the, the sons and daughters try and take one of the fish, and they, they, it's like it has the spirit of the, the owner in the fish. That and probably a good resale value. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah, right. Okay, and right. they take it home and it becomes and a And how much are these at this size? Seven ninety nine. You can Right, and you can grow it up to uh, like a $100 fish in no time. Exactly. Better exactly. than the stock market. That's pretty good. Invest in these <laughs> right. guys. <laughs> right. Invest in koi. These guys up here are called red and whites. Mm -hmm. uh, They're red and white. Yeah, that, that's really what yeah. <laughs> And then we got some little canaries in here as well, too. Yeah. See so some smaller canaries. But again... It's neat how you can put them together because that really brings, when you put them together, brings out the color on each of them. It That's really, right. really, they play well together and it just really um, compares to well. It's actually called a Sarasa Kama. Sarasa. Right. Yes. Yeah, Sarasa I remember Kama. that. Sarasa I remember Kama. that. So, look at how cool. It's just like half and half. See, Looks yeah. like a creamsicle. Yeah. It's like somebody has a roof on it. Right. It's got a good, good like spumoni almost, spumoni ice cream. So, folks, you want, this is kind of cool. I'm going to embarrass Matt and his crew. Uh, how spotless these tanks are. And, and oh, it's yeah. not like before Eddie show, showed up, they spent four hours cleaning up the tank. This is just... It's an ongoing maintenance. We do, right. like I said, it's a, lot, it's a really ton of work, but yep. they but look really nice, We Matt. really take pride in, thank you, but we really take pride in showing off the fish. Because if you have a clean tank, um, they just yep. look better, they look, they show off, people enjoy them a little yeah. more. Yeah. All right, so moving down the line. Along, we've got... Some bigger koi. These are straight tails. See how they don't have yeah. the butterfly on them? Yeah. But you can really see the, the mirror carp on that guy right there. See the smooth side? Yes. Again, it gives a really, in a pond, that just gives it a really, really, let me, really So bright. let me uh, pull the top there, and you can, again, right. you can really see the sparkles and the, and the color. And in a pond, it just looks gorgeous, especially when you hand train them, and they come up and they're eating out of your hand. Oh. So it really becomes enjoyable. I, I, I got to say. You want to do something really cool. You take your food and make it into a mash, and you put it in a baby's bottle. I said, friends, and you stick it in the water, and the fish will. Oh, they'll like nurse off there? Nurse off of it. Common. It's not uncommon, right? Yeah, it is true. We actually have birthday parties. We host birthday parties in the store, and the biggest attraction of the party is when the kids get to come and feed the koi. Because they can all, all the, they'll come and they'll ha hold onto their fingers, they'll bite their fingers. We just have to make sure they pull all their strings off their hoodies in so they don't... Oh, right, right, the right, hoodies, right, right, right. But right. that's one of the biggest attractions at our birthday parties is the... Feeding the feeding koi. Feeding the fish. Yeah. Is feeding the fish. And we got one more to go up here. We're going to start where it began, the traditional goldfish. A lot of people overlook these as junk fish or food fish. If they're taken care of, they're beautiful. I mean, they're all basic orange, but this yep. is where it all began. A basic fish, again in a pond, they're very inexpensive, they're very hardy. Um, you can fill up a pond for, cents? yeah, you can right. fill up a pond for under $10. Right, and then in a couple years, they're You've like... You've got big 16-inch fish, right. they'll grow to a large size. Um, but again, look at the shine on them. Look at the, when they're properly cared for, and they're, they're healthy, they're fed properly, the water is clean, look how beautiful they look, how active they are. How often does this water get changed? Because that's the secret. Okay, these are done twice a week in these tanks. It's a little different from your home tank because we're running a lot more fish. We do have large filters. Um, we do have an automatic changing system. We do one-third water change. One-third water change translates to 40 gallons twice a week on these guys. Um, in your at your home, in a tank, if you're keeping them in a smaller tank, I would recommend with goldfish once a week, one third. Do you, do you put? Uh, do we put aquarium salt in there? Or yes, aquarium salt is beneficial to goldfish. 
because it's actually adding electrolyte to the water. It's also detoxifying ammonia. What do you? He's laughing. No, he's right. He's right. And and most of this, when you go to a different store and you don't go to Dave's, you don't you you do he's not on the payroll. <laughs> <laughs> you do not get shown and taught how to take care of these fish. What he's mentioning is so important. Mm -hmm. What do you mean he mentioned it? I mentioned it. <laughs> The electrolyte. No, electrolyte. I'll talk about the electrolytes. Oh. Okay. And I thought you meant the salt. It's a mineral in fish. Oh, wait a minute. I started it. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. But well, salt my, is... I'm not going to be here for a month. i got to yeah. get my... The idea is people <laughs> think that, oh, these don't, these can't go near salt water. The, uh, these it's guys can well. go like uh, 3%, 4% salt with no trouble at all. Nope. And it won't kill them. Salt also is a great deterrent for parasites. Yes, too. yes, yes. Okay, it keeps the parasites down with a little bit of garlic. Sometimes if you have a little bit of garlic oh, additive. Plus vampires. Yeah, they won't. Uh, you won't get killed by your fish at night when they jump out of the tank and oh, that's it. suck your blood. Right. Yeah. But th th these are all important things, and you're not. If you're not told, then when you have a problem in your tank, you don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you know, uh, with the salt. So I remember, 35 years ago when we used to sell more 10 gallon, because every kid was into, into fish keeping, into fish keeping. Mm -hmm. and it was always when you started your tank, a couple tablespoons of salt. Salt, yeah, salt. absolutely, to, to, right? Absolutely, helps condition the water. Right. right, And then again, when the new tank, when you start setting up, when you're first setting it up, that's the most stressful time for it because the yep. tank is cycling. Salt in there helps detoxify any of the ammonia that the fish are gonna build up. Well, um, you get, you, you, you don't have the nitrification system right. done the yet. Cycle, the biological cycle is not fully established yet. And again, like I said, if you just, fish are so easy to keep as long as you just do the basic maintenance. I tell everyone it's just like a car. Change your oil every 2,500 miles. Change Tw one, Who changes their oil 2,500? When's the last time you changed? 5,000 miles with the new ones. I don't we have any of these new fish that you don't have to change them as often? No, I drive a Kia that I've been in the shop so many times, so i got to stay up on the 2500 there. Um, one third, if you just do, even if it needs or not, the basic routine maintenance, one third water change, it's not hard. Fish are so easy to maintain, you don't have to take the fish out of the tank. But you got the important part of doing that water change is? Keeping your gravel clean, right. siphoning. That we learned. Go down and siphon your gravel. Right, because that's that, where all the stuff... All the stuff settles in your right. gravel. Siphon your gravel. That's it, our time is up. Water change. All the good. stuff is finally siphoned to the bottom. Settled we're at the, the bottom, bottom of the. Uh, well, good night, every. No, good, good, good morning, everybody, because we're on in the morning. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you had fun. Hey, folks, it's Dave from Dave Soda in Pet City with the only 100% all natural, yummy dog food on the market. Nature's Logic 100% natural food at Dave's.